This is a Micro Mini 1708 FB dual axle. Kind of go over the mods that uh, we've put on this uh, this camper here. We'll start up front where I've done the most work. Uh, the camper comes with two 20 pounders for propane and the uh, dealership will usually drop a, uh, a 24 series uh, lead acid battery. I ended up uh, putting an extra uh, 24 series. Uh, two will fit under there in the the rack of this thing uh, down under there but uh, just wasn't enough amp hours so uh, done a little fabrication uh, a good friend of mine's a welder welded up some uh, angle iron underneath this Harbor Freight uh, tongue box and we dropped in a uh, 200 amp hour AGM Renergy Got a 40 amp fuse right to the hot, and I've got a Victron smart shunt right there. The two 20 pounders are just an incredible amount of propane that I did not need. This is a technically it's an 11 pound tank, and it, uh, gosh camp all season, all summer into fall season uh, on one tank of propane. The torsion system here on the hitch is a recurve 3 and as you can see it, uh, the recurve 3 actually the bars go up on top instead of down. Since this trailer has so much clearance uh, I wanted it to stay up on top versus uh, down hanging underneath it's been a pretty good camper so far we got it summer of 22 been on quite a few trips next mod that I did we'll have to get up under here the uh, water sensor didn't work from the get-go so if you'll see right up here, I've got an access panel there. Just run a uh, Mopeka water sensor on that uh, 31 gallon tank. And now I know exactly uh, how much water I got in this thing. Uh, of course, I've got uh, tire sensors on all four tires. Got a little uh, TPMS system that uh, is in the truck. Just plugs into a cigarette lighter outlet. I know exactly uh, what my tire pressure is running as I'm going down the road. Did add a magnetic door latch because the uh, wind is always swinging that door around. This one come with the, uh, the big solid steps which is uh, not, uh, not on all these 1708s, but uh, the one I got, it has it. Uh, added a substantial tire bracket back here. The one that come on this thing was a, uh, just, it was a piece of crap. And uh, it went on right here. I think they actually had a recall on it now because they were falling off, but uh, put a good tire mount on. The uh, caps that come on the bumper here originally, uh, they fell off. I think uh, as we were taking it uh, back from the dealership, one of them blew out. But, uh, these are they're going to stay on there. You don't have to worry about them. Under here, we have the Victron. MPPT 100 30 amp also have a, uh, a breaker that I install there to actually shut down the solar National electrical code actually calls for that in the code and uh, This thing come with a go power uh, a little 30 amp in there that uh, Yeah, they're probably in the $40 range I would imagine but uh, 
no no shut off uh, most of the the RVs that I'm seeing still and there's no uh, shut off to the solar so added that in and with the Victron stuff here we'll come up here and we'll uh, take a look at the Victron app pulling up my Victron app I have my shunt Batteries are sitting at 100%, 13.4 volts. And my solar controller. Currently we're just floating. Uh, voltage coming in the solar controller is currently just over 21, almost 22 volts. But uh, we're not charging, we're just floating right now. And then the Victron, let's see, let's go from Victron to Mopeka. And I just emptied my tank, so it should be, uh, it's saying uh, low, it's, uh, it's completely empty. Yeah, the, uh, the Mopeka's read down to about the last seven gallons. And then after that, it just shows low. Two nice pieces of equipment on here. Let's see what else we've got. We've added, I'll zoom you up top here. Added the uh, Camco vent cover. Inside, really haven't done a whole lot of mods inside except for the Vortex 2 that hangs fan. That's a, like a 15 minute install and that works like a champ versus the, the silly thing that they put in there. Yeah, they still got the, uh, still got the original in the, in the bathroom. Yeah, that little silly little fans, gosh, they don't, they don't do anything except make noise. So 1708, so 17.8 uh, feet on the box. Box is about seven feet wide. No slide out, didn't want one of those. Uh, obviously, uh, the mattress is not what comes in this thing. That's a, a nice uh, foam mattress that you can actually sleep on, it's comfortable. The refrigerator is huge. Gosh, I have to get back here to get a full view of that thing. That's 10.3 cubic feet. Uh, nice Dometic fridge. It is a 12 volt fridge, which uh, we really was wanting to try to get because we're trying to live in this thing for a week off grid. And with that 12 volt fridge, it works pretty good. Three burner cooktop, big sink, lots of storage in this thing. There's more storage than I have stuff to put in it. Use the TV. I think we've turned the TV on once. But most everything on it is on a 12 volt system. I can run the water pump. I can run the refrigerator, the Dometic uh, furnace is on 12 volts the dometic six gallon hot water heater is running on 12 volts and the whole system with the exception of the ac up top we can uh, run on 12 volt system just a simple uh on off from a 12 volt system and i'm good to go do obviously uh, carry a generator with me like I say we just got back so a 4,000 watt uh, generator that will run the wife's hairdryer and if we ever needed to the AC unit uh, we've turned it on once just to make sure it works 
but all in all this 1708 fb micro mini winnie has been doing exactly what we need it to do it's not an off-road camper i mean it's it comes with a suspension lift on it obviously this thing is a ways off the ground the uh things are just not designed for off-road but we saw off-road it on forest service road so it's been doing very well with that back over here on the clearance side of things it's about uh somewhere around uh 14 inches from the ground to the, the drain which is nice and it's right behind the tire so uh, departure angle probably not gonna rip that off uh, both your uh, gray tank and your black tank are kind of concealed in there which is nice the axles are the Dexter uh, Torflex axles been working pretty nice they uh, they're kind of a semi independent axle but they uh, they do go all the way across the uh, the camper Specs on the 1708 FB. She's uh, 19 feet, five inches long, tongue to tail. She is seven feet wide on the box, which is nice because it's only just a few inches wider than the truck. The uh, fresh water capacity is 31 gallons, 25 gray, 25 black. The GVWR is 5,000 pounds, which uh, that gives you about uh, I think her dry weight's 3360, so that gives you about 1640. So 1,640 pounds of uh, capacity that you can load up with. But uh, I've, I've never got uh, over 800 pounds loading her up for a week. Just don't uh, take that much stuff that's that heavy. The uh, hitch height up here, that's one thing that's, that's pretty daggum tall. She's a 28 inch hitch height, so uh, definitely on your half ton range when you're wanting to uh, to hook up to one of these you need a good size a good size hitch height to hook up to it to keep those axles level and I think the dry weight before anything up front she is 340 pounds on the tongue and I've added the uh, the Renergy 127 pound AGM battery in that compartment and of course that's an 11 pound 11 pound tank it had two 20 pound tanks. Uh, when you take the two 20 pound tanks and the two 24 series batteries I had on there off and I added this, I ended up actually being 10 pounds lighter with my new configuration. The uh, recurve is actually a 600 pound uh, torsion bar system, so it's uh, got plenty of, plenty of torsion left over. I'm pushing right at 400 pounds on my tongue weight right now. Overall, we're very satisfied with the uh, micro mini winnie. Uh, the hook bolted frame uh, is a big, uh, big positive. The uh, independent uh, uh, stabilizers is they're nice and they're the way up out of the way. They got rid of the old scissor stabilizers and and went into these. Uh, single stabilizers and they're independent from each other which is nice been a good camper no complaints whatsoever the uh i think the roof uh seemed like the roof warranty was 10 years on the on the roof on this thing full walkable roof Overall, very satisfied. It does exactly what we want to do. Primarily just U.S. Forest Service off-roads. Uh, she's been up to, I think we've had her about 11,500 feet up in the mountains of Colorado. And then uh, some of the, the rougher roads we've been on is actually uh, some of the county roads in Arkansas. Uh, those county roads get pretty daggum rough. But uh, that's kind of an overview and the mods we've done on the 1708 FB.